because I, I'm going to wipe his butt. When you guys get home, uh, are you planning on doing a bath? Do yes. A ba do a bath today and wash the butt real good. Okay. That anal gland fluid has got, to me, it's got some acid in there and it might, he might lick it and it'll burn a little bit, you know, like, just like, um, gastrointestinal, you know, like that acid. So just, I wouldn't let it sit there for a day or two without doing something about it. Okay. But while we're here, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just shave his bum bum. Let me see here. Look at that. That. Mm. Good boy. Mm. Good boy, Percy. Yeah, definitely do your clipper thing more often, Kay. Yeah. You see what I'm doing, right? Does yours have a cord? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. So yeah, do the clipper thing. Yeah. Good boy. Let me see. I'm gonna have you stand up, Kay. Good boy. Percy, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, you're being so good. Good boy. I'm gonna come down with, I guess I'll come back with the guard on that, okay? Got some noise, what's that? You know what it's like? It's like four-year-old, right? Yes. They say that dogs are like four-year-olds their whole life. Yeah, I was telling my, my dad it's like having a toddler. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Lift, lift your leg. Don't do anything crazy. Good boy, you can't catch. Good boy. You're a good boy, Percy. I'm doing good. Can I get you up? Yeah, we're gonna learn all this together, yeah? I'm gonna clean this up real good. All that's nice and shaved out real good. Come down. Come down. Come down. There you go. Come down. There you go. Okay, great. Good boy. Now, what I'm thinking I want to do is half off this. So I'm going to play with it. Less. I'm going to do it over here in case he really doesn't like it. And then I might have to do readjust. So let's try it first. Okay. So I want to say it's called a two, two guard. And I'm going to try it over here in case it doesn't work out. This is called like a love over here, so I'm getting his attention over here while I do something over here. Okay. Okay, that's not really taking off very much. Can I go a little shorter? I think so. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's up to you. Buddy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's okay, Dee. It's okay, Dee. Dee. Okay. You can't hardly tell what's taken off. I'd rather you get a haircut, you know. Okay. 
I think that's better. And what I might do, uh, let me do the legs with this and then I'm gonna show you something else. Okay. So this is a four guard, this is a four guard, okay? okay? And we'll do the legs and then we'll come back with the body. I might do that too, we'll see what it looks like. Here's your visual. Here we go. Okay. Just make I'm, sure. We're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Look at that. Look at that. Not your favorite? It's okay. Not your favorite? It's okay. Dad, there's one of your tricks. Give me your arm. Stretch it out. Treat. <laughs> Literally, teach him how to stretch his arm out, okay? Okay. It should be like this. Um, give me your arm, right? Give me your arm. Yeah. Or shake your paw. And that shake the paw, I'm going to use it here. Shake. Okay. Shake. Good, you know? You can do the treat thing, but some of the people I know that do training and breeding and stuff like that, they'll actually just use uh, love. Use love? Use love. Okay. So good, good boy. Get like that. Give me good. your paw. Yeah. Give me your paw. Good boy. Good boy. And then a repeat. But treats really help in the beginning. And you don't have to do one treat per talk. You could do the same piece of chicken or whatever you're going to use. Lick. Put it down. Do it. Lick. Put it down. Do it. And so you use that same piece of chicken that whole 20 minutes. Right. Otherwise, it's a lot of calories. Yeah. It's a whole lot of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and I say chicken. Some dogs are allergic to chicken, so be careful. On uh, you'll you'll know if they vomit that night or something like that. You're like, oh, he didn't like something today. It was that chicken. That's what he had this morning. It was um, turkey, you said? No, oh, it was. Well, I gave him a little piece of piece from my sandwich okay. before we got here, but what he threw up was vomit, uh, which was breakfast, which was chicken and pumpkin. Okay. But he doesn't vomit very often, right? That's the first time. Okay, make a note. Make a note. But well, he was, he, he was on a long car up. ride, though. I think he got motion sick. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Because he's, uh, he's been eating that chicken. I made a bunch of meals and froze them. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna move to the body. I see, I see what you mean, that's awesome. So when you um, take it out of the freezer, how are you cooking it? You put it into a pan or? Uh, either let it sit out and thaw or just nuke it for 30 seconds. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go back to that two guard I used a second ago. This is a half inch, uh, excuse me, three eighths inch. So I'm gonna see how it does on the body if it blends. If not, I'm just gonna use the fourth that I just used so it could all be the same. This is gonna take off, so this is taking off more hair here and then less hair here. So let's see what happens. Cause he's real thick here. Yeah. I wanna see if I, do I need to take it down to this short? Okay. See how he wanted to smell that? Say that again, did you? I said, you see how he wanted to smell that? He's like, what's that? Let me let oh. me inspect it. Yeah. Percy, you wanted to smell it? <laughs> yeah. Did you want to smell you wanna smell this? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna smell this? <laughs> oh my god. There's a treat already. I mean that's that's already a trick, okay? Yeah. It's already, we got that one down. Use that, use that. You want to smell it? And he'll go, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I have you stand up now? Yeah. Nice, good boy. So this clipper is a cordless, and it's something I like to use, say, for, you wanna smell? Smell. Yeah, what is that? That's you. Uh, I use, like to use it for pads. You can see I'm, what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Just shaving the pads and maybe the sanitary. It's real easy. I want to say uh, on my site it's about 140. You don't need to get it now. He just got groomed. But in your mind, if you start going, you know, we could do a little cleanup stuff at home because his pads are pretty thick and you don't want to use the scissors. Then let me know. I have one. The scissors? No, I have one of those. Okay, great. So uh, is it okay? Great. Or is that what you're? That's what you're getting ready to do, right? This? Yes. Oh, perfect. So this will be. Is it one like where you can change the blade size here? I'll show you. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. I have it with me. Oh, great, great. Let me see it when I come out. Okay. It, it may be the exact same thing. I have, they're both, I have a larger one that is um, cordless, rechargeable, and okay. then I have a smaller one. Well, you can see where I'm using this stuff is what I mean. So you'll be able to say, I'm going to use that for that like she did. Okay, you're good. Yes. You're good. You know what I mean? Yes. Great. I'm gonna turn you this way, okay? Okay, come here. You're all right. Did that spook you? Well, you did it. You backed up. 
You did it. It's okay. Nothing happened. Okay. And yeah. And there were well, there were several that looked similar to him. And what, most of them were older. He was the first puppies. Did you want to, what were, what were you looking for? A lap dog. Okay. So you weren't too picky. Um, what's funny is it, I, I almost saw his picture a couple of years ago. It wasn't him, but it, I just fell in love with this dog. Really? The picture, painting. Right. And when I saw his face, I knew that was him. Wow, that's so awesome. But you saw his face. How did you first see his face? Online or someone sent you a picture? Well, I took a Pino's palette painting class, Paint Your Pet. Okay. And it's the puppy dog that they have as their advertisement. Oh, for the for the rescue group? For the no, it's for the Pinot's palette oh. paints your pet. Oh, okay, okay. And that's why I'm saying I saw a picture of a dog that I just fell in love with that looks so much like him. Right, but when you first saw him, was it on their website or was it Yes. Yes, it yes. was on their website. Okay. And then you were yes. like, Oh, that's him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're lucky because he he was young, you know. A lot of people probably want that, right? That puppy. Uh, you're right. It was homeless hounds. Cool. Homeless hounds animal rescue in Colleyville. And were they awesome with you? Say that again. Well, how were they with you? Were they awesome with you? Oh yeah. You want to put your foot down? <laughs> no, you're going to hold your foot up. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. And you're just holding your foot up? Okay. Okay. I have one of those too. My chihuahuas like to do that. I don't know why. They like to hold their foot up. When he sits down a lot, when he's relaxing, he crosses his front paws. Oh, that's so gentleman like, in my opinion. <laughs> Don't you better start getting some pictures of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. I think that that is so cute. Let me see. I'm gonna turn you this way. Yeah, I gotta do that, Paul. I have to go back over here. Maybe. Yep. Say that again. The cream. Yeah, yeah so now, don't let me forget about that. You know, I got I needed to turn him around. Yeah, he's very cream. I have one of his favorite treats when he's finished. Oh, great. I just, I'm not sure I should give it to him though. I don't either. Uh, you you could let him lick it. Well, it is. It's a liverwurst in his Kong. You can let him lick it and then put it up. Good boy, let him lick it and then at, when you arrive home, then you know let, let him do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Look how good he's been. So, uh, good and bad, right? How he's being right now, I couldn't guarantee he would be like that in a different environment. Does that make sense? Yeah. If he were somewhere where there were 16, 20 dogs, he, right. might, he might be different because he is... I am really going slow if you can't tell. If you've watched my other videos... I can tell you're going slow. Yeah, I'm going slow. Um... Because I'm just watching how I pick it, touch him, you know? 
because yeah. of everything you told me and also his just his movement. He's doing good if I go slow. But once I start to do too fast, if I, if I was in a speedy environment, which I've, I've worked in a speedy environment, yeah. um, he might not act the same, you know? So if ever you go somewhere, because it, it, it might happen, I have to be real with you. So if you ever go somewhere and it's really loud, uh, uh, jumping around, lots of dogs, this and that, and he acts different, then guess what? There's your answer. Right. Like, uh oh, he's not liking this, you know, and, and don't push it. He might be trying to say, no, 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 I can't handle this. And then you, do, you go ahead and do what you need to do, and then he comes back a different dog that day. Yeah. Uh, I just want to be honest with you, because we all have, sometimes it's like, oh, dang it, I, I was on vacation, so I went somewhere else, Dee Dee. Like, life happens. So just look for those warnings, okay? Okay. Don't be like, well, I'm already here, but he's acting like that. We'll just try it. No, 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 no. I want you with him in his his specificness to go, uh, it's not a good idea. We might, yeah. we might go backwards on everything we've done. Okay. Exactly. It'd be worth the wait. <laughs> and I say that because I have sometimes in the beginning, I wouldn't tell people like so, some things like that. Cause I, I don't want them to make them feel like they can't go anywhere else or come across the wrong way. But then I regretted it. There was a dog that went to a, off a of blue mound. There was a, uh, there is a groomer there, and she went there to get the nails trimmed, and she said, yeah, they, they were really nice, so I didn't want to say no, but they quicked every nail on her dog, made them all bleed. Oh. And so we had, I had been doing that dog's nail trim for like 10 years, and, oh. I, and she didn't want to wait. I was like, I'll be back in a week, you know, but you, that's why you got to plan ahead, or at least kind of get an idea. She goes, well, okay, I didn't want to really wait. And so she went somewhere else and that's what happened. And she told me all about it. And I said, I said, why would you do that? For 10 years, we have never hit the vein. And then you went somewhere and they hit the vein on all of them. I just had to shake my head. I was like, wow. And then I said, did you see the blood, the first nail? She goes, yeah. And I said, well, why'd you let her continue? She said, cause she was nice. Oh God. Cause she was talking to her, you know, like, through, like a lobby, like, Hey, this and that and doing the nails. I kind of was really hurt for the dog. Yeah. And then it took, it took us, uh, we've done six nail trims, about six nail trims since then. And he's not the same dog. He'll never be the same dog after that one instant. Okay, stand up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know we are facing the other way now. What's that? Kind of does that too. She wants to smell everything. Your other dog does it, or your cat does that too? Cat, yeah. She has to smell well, everything. Hey, maybe he picked it up from her. Maybe so. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not either. That's interesting. They'll do that, you know. Yeah, since we brought him home, he is now drinking his water and eating his food. Okay, you got to stop that. She'll gain some, she, cats don't lose weight very easy. She'll gain some serious weight. I think she's doing it on purpose. So then you can't leave his food out anymore. Right. He eats, he eats and her food must be put up, right? Higher? Actually, he, we don't let him anywhere around her food. Okay, so same thing. It should be the same way on him. So yeah. you put the food down, you time it. He's got six minutes to eat or 10 minutes to eat or less. My dog's eating about six minutes. So 10 minutes or less and the food is up and gone. Move it, yeah. move it away. Doesn't finish it, it gets put back up. And then he'll start to learn. If I don't eat, then it's gone. <laughs> it doesn't sit all day. Now remember, I went shorter on the legs. This is longer on the back. So going down the legs and all that don't matter. Okay. It, it might even stuff up, but it's not gonna take more length. Okay. You think that looks good? Have you, do you see him from before? Can the you? only picture I have, yeah, he looks good. The only picture we 
hair from before who came to us. He was real young, just a little tiny white fluff ball. Really? Oh. You can send that to me if you want it to go in his video. Okay. Can I have you look up just a little here? Let me see. Oh, I remember you saying like you've got to get him to tr get him trained a little bit to come to you with, the, with without the harness and leash on at some point, right? Yeah, but I think it'll be a while before that. So something to know is that like um, the harness that he wears, if he wears it a hundred percent of the day, it'll start to have an indention here that like you wish you could flat iron out. It won't go out. Okay. So you'll start to see that indention here. So, Dad, if you're going to do training, one of my boys is I'm, I'm working with him. He's, he came from a rescue situation at two years old, so I've had him a couple years now. He's four or five. So he's really still struggling with that training, but I'm not doing it like strong-hearted because um, he's a good dog. But um, he likes to run the fence, and if I say, come here, he don't want to come here. So remember I told you about Faith. You spend two days straight on training, you'll find that, wow, they, they got it now. So if you train him, like, come here, come here, then you can get rid of that harness, and then you won't have a collar on or a harness 24-7. You know what I mean? Okay? Okay. Because I can see, yeah. I was going to say, are they, and I remembered you said that you guys do, that I can see some indentions happening, and they'll be permanent. Okay. Oh, he's so handsome. He's so handsome. You're such a gentleman. You must get that from your dad, huh? You get that from Pops? Is your husband a gentleman? Yeah. He acts just like a gentleman. Okay, we're almost done here. We're getting to the face. Looking for a look. So when the dog is doing something and yeah. they're already that's easy to start doing. Give me the paw. Shake. Because yeah. he's already doing it. It's like, yes, and so you usually just go with it, right? Yes. Yeah. You don't want, yeah, I know you don't like that. Uh, let me think. Let me see here. Uh, let me go down this way. What number are you using now? Still using the two. Oh, on the two? Yep, two down. Down with the hair, like the way the hair grows. I kind of can do reverse, but I'm actually going to blend. I did a little bit of blending on the body with the two, to two into the two from the head to from the neck. Okay. Okay. But I'm not too, doing it heavy-handed.
So I'll look at your clippers and I'll tell you if you can buy a two. You can, I can sell you a two later if you want. Just depends on if you're, go ahead. I think it has, it has all the guards on it. Okay, okay, great. It's a whole set. Okay, great, we'll look at it. 